Hello guys, have you ever seen a giant dragon walking on the street, or a spider crawling on your building? Hope you not, today we are going to see some crazy, and humongous marvels of engineering, that will surely blow your mind, from the antenna with the size of a town, to the biggest machine which is literally out of this world. So hit that subscribe button, and now let's start with our list. Jardino the Robot Dragon the German town of Firthenwald in Bavaria is also known as the Dragon City, and they take this association very seriously. Every year a play called Drachenstadt is performed through the streets based on a tradition that began as far back as the 16th century, and tells the story of St. George slaying a dragon. As you'd expect, the central spectacle of the play is the dragon itself, and in 2001 Organize decided that their prop was getting too old and worn, and plans were drawn up for a giant dragon robot which would become the largest independently walking robot in the world. It took nine years to be designed and built, and took center stage during the play's performance in 2010, known as Tradino. The Dragon weighs 11 tons and is powered by a 2-liter turbo diesel engine. It has a 40-foot wingspan, a huge tail, and to move by remote control it contains more than 1,000 feet of hydraulic lines and 4,000 feet of electrical wires. For added effect, it can also carry 17.5 gallons of fake blood and 2.5 gallons of liquid gas, which allows the monstrous beast to bleed and breathe fire up to 5 feet from its mouth. La Princesse In 2008, celebrations in Liverpool, England were chosen for the unveiling of one of the largest mechanized vehicles ever made, La Princesse. It was designed by a French performance art company called La Machine, who wanted to build a giant robot spider that could walk through the streets. Constructed from steel, wood, and complex hydraulics, it took more than a year to complete, but the result was incredible. Weighing in at 37 tons, it had 50 different axes of movement, and with the aid of 16 cranes, 6 forklift trucks, 8 cherry pickers, and a crew of more than 250 people, it was able to climb up and around buildings and crawl through the city at a speed of up to 2 miles per hour. As a part of the performance, it was also followed by a live band and was fitted with numerous special effects so that it was able to emit smoke, fire, rain, wind, snow, light, and sound. It's undoubtedly one of the most elaborate entertainment machines to ever be built, and one that would take incredible passion and commitment to ever aim to beat. If you're running a construction project or planning on moving large quantities of material from one place to another, then you're going to need a hauling truck. But if you have substantial loads that need to be transported, then you might just require the use of the largest one ever designed, the Belaz 75710. Created by the Belarusian company Belaz, it's the highest payload capacity haul truck available. The vehicle itself weighs 500 tons and can carry a further 500 tons of material. It's more than 67 feet long, 32 feet wide, and 27 feet high, and its wheelbase alone is just over 26 feet across. To power this gigantic vehicle, it uses a Siemens MMT500 drive system, which is powered by two MTU 16-cylinder four-stroke diesel engines, which each produce 2,300 horsepower. This gives the 75710 an impressive top speed of 40 miles per hour, and even when loaded on an incline of 10%, it can maintain a speed of up to 25 miles per hour. The International Space Station First launched in 1998, the International Space Station isn't the largest machine or vehicle ever built, but it's definitely one of the most impressive things ever designed by humankind, and has set plenty of records of its own. It's actually the ninth of the 11 space stations that have entered Earth's orbit, but is by far the biggest of them all. With a modular design, extra pieces have regularly been sent up to attach to it, and currently it's 239.4 feet long and 357.5 feet wide. It was built and is run as an international collaboration between most of the nations on Earth that are involved in space exploration, and is an important tool for scientific research for both studies of the effects of microgravity and of understanding the wider universe. Due to its position in orbit, the most impressive record that the ISS holds is that it's the fastest moving vehicle that any human has set foot inside. It circles the Earth once every 92.68 minutes which means it's traveling at an astonishing 17,100 miles per hour. Even if it was possible to reach this speed at ground level, you'd be able to travel from New York to Sydney, Australia in just 35 minutes. The operators needed some heavy-duty machinery to keep running at full capacity, which led to the development of the overburdened conveyor bridge F-60. Five of these monster machines were built, and they're responsible for removing and transporting the overburden, which lies over the coal seam out of the way. 
They're fitted with excavators on each side, which can remove almost 30,000 tons of material every hour and have nine conveyor belts to load onto their trucks for disposal. Each one has a cutting height of 200 feet, and the vehicles themselves are 260 feet long, 790 feet wide, and 1,647 feet long, making them by far the longest and largest vehicles ever constructed, as well as one of the heaviest with an operating weight of 13,600 tons. To put this into perspective, an F-60 is longer than the Empire State Building is tall, which represents a phenomenal feat of engineering.